It's our target. It was the kid we had been sent here to capture. His features may have been mangled and warped, but there was no denying that this monstrosity was him. This is why the tranquilizer didn't work, and why our employer instructed us to use the drugs they wanted. Why they would want this thing alive is beyond me. I would sleep much better at night if I knew this thing was in a deep, deep grave. And after what seemed like hours of unbroken eye contact, the monster screeched at me. That was enough to send me sprinting up the stairs. I didn't stop running, I didn't turn around to see if the thing was chasing me. I kept running until I got to the van, jumped in the driver's seat, and peeled out into the street. I speed limit. I didn't care. I didn't really feel safe until I was miles away from the beast. After skipping town, I emptied my savings accounts and liquidized everything I owned. After that, I went through an extensive process to erase any lingering trails. I my name, underwent plastic surgery, and whatever little presence I had on the web, I thoroughly scrubbed clean. Any evidence of the man I was before was completely gone by the time I finished. As far as anyone was concerned, it never existed until two months ago. I made a promise to myself to never bring it back to bury the past as deep as it would go. But I have been plagued by nightmares ever since seeing that monster. And I thought that maybe if I were in the world of its existence, my conscience might be relieving me. I can't go into detail. Better for everyone to have this kept a secret. As for whoever it was that wanted to capture the beast, I sense. In all honesty, I'm actually glad we didn't succeed in capturing it. I don't want to find out what their plans for the monster were when we got it. So, take this as a warning. People say that the dark web is full of monsters. I learned the hard way that sometimes, that could be tough.